<laughs> Welcome back everybody to this Welcome back everybody to the channel. Today we have such a special video because it is the one year anniversary of the first self-portraits video. <laughs> and my friends, let me tell you that it has been an action-packed year for me since that video was posted. Let me give you a quick rundown of what my channel was like 365 days ago. And the most important piece of it all, my skin actually got better. I have way less acne than I did a year ago, actually for my entire life since I hit puberty. The reason for the change is uh, I started drinking a, a healthy amount of water. Yeah. Who knew hydration would help your skin and your overall health? Who would have thunk? But anyways, I'm really excited to make this video for you guys because it's been a while since I've made one. Episode 6 came out a good while ago now, and usually these self portraits videos take a lot of time, take a lot of effort and energy, but I'm feeling really creative, feeling real juicy in the creative department. So anyways, self portraits 7 is going to be two rounds, just two. One is going to be all about neutrals. We're going to be paying homage to the colorful rendition that I had back in self portraits 1, so get excited for that. And round number two is going to be called Dunk Con. Contest. We're going to wait for that one. You can skip ahead if you want to see those photos, but I'm excited for that one. I'm excited for round one, too. But anyways, let's begin with round number one, Neutral Bomb. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to round one, uh, the Neutral Bomb. This is going to be paying a huge homage to round two of Self Portraits 1, which is where I was messing with colors, uh, color clothing, um, mainly yellow, and I was throwing it up against my blue backdrop right there. And in this round, we're gonna go straight for the jugular and recreate some of those photos, except not with yellow clothing, but with neutral clothing. Uh, I pulled out a lot of my uh, neutral pieces from my closet right here. So we got a beanie, some, I think, hoodies? Oh no, uh, work jackets right there. Uh, more tan shirts, more hoodies. So we're gonna be messing with things that are both tan and white because I was planning to go all tan before but I feel like uh, I would like some contrast in some of the colors I mean like all of it's gonna look super contrast against this black backdrop I do have a chestnut backdrop up there but I felt like that would have been overkill uh, in terms of the color palette and then I think everything would just blend in uh, or maybe we could try it just for the sake of it uh, but enough talking uh, I'll, I'm gonna start throwing up some clothes and experimenting and hopefully luck will be on my side as it was in that first uh, installment of the series oh. okay let's check this out oh my God. <laughs> I look so stupid. <laughs> Look at my face. It's like, oh no, I might die. <laughs> All right. No, oh, let's see. Oh. Let's go! That one is sick. I love it when there's a stray piece of clothing that covers my face that adds a little bit to the mystery. Uh, oh man, that's like definitely paying a lot of homage to uh, the first video. Dang! That is so awesome, man. There's a nice convergence, a little like downward arrow of the clothing falling. Like, the trajectory is perfect. Maybe I'll try instead of like throwing it like this. Um, I'll throw it like towards the middle up so it can look like it's, I don't know, like a volcano? A neutral colored volcano? Yeah. Oh shoot, I think that might have been too late. <laughs> I'm just holding the clothes like this way. <laughs> like, will you buy my clothes? Is this like my banner for my Poshmark account. Like, please buy my clothes. Oh my god. These are more memes than they are like mind-blowing photos. Okay, I feel like we got a 
really good set of decent images. I'm gonna experiment, ooh wait. I'm gonna experiment with long exposures first with an ND on top of my lens. And then we're gonna go to full bomb neutral with uh, the paper up top. Uh, and then we'll wrap it up from there. Okay, we got some decent ones. We got some decent ones, but that is it for round one. Thank you guys for watching that part, but don't go anywhere because round two dunk contest. Woo! So let's transition now to round two dunk contest. All right, sorry everybody, but I have to step in with the voiceover because the mic was just malfunctioning for some reason. But basically we're in round two now, the dunk contest. I'm gonna have my NBA moments of photographing myself quote unquote dunking. I'm gonna be climbing up on a stool so that I can climb up on the net and then hang on the rim. Obviously I'm not gonna be jumping on it. And I actually have a friend who's gonna be helping me take the picture. I'm doing all the framing, I'm doing all the lighting. So all he has to do is just press the shutter. So yeah, there could be an asterisk on the self portrait because someone is helping me. But let's be honest, doing this in like all of a 10 second timer is like quite honestly, the most hardest thing ever. So. It's nice to have a friend help out. And when I was shooting this, I really hoped that I didn't get injured because there could have been so many moments of like the net breaking or my grip slipping. I grew up playing and watching basketball. So having this like quote unquote NBA moment that I've always wanted is like a dream come true for me in this ironically dad unathletic outfit with true blue Jordan threes on. So it's about to be hype. <laughs> I found these photos to be some of the most hilarious things I've ever done in my life because they look so ultra corny and unbelievable. But if I'm ever a father in the future, I'm going to tell my kids that I legit dunked and these are real photos of real moments. For this second part of the dunk contest photo set, I want to recreate NBA Vince Carter's elbow dunk. It was one of the most famous dunk contest wins of all time, and I wanted to have my moment recreating it. And this time we're going to be using a flash unit. So I got my receiver on my R5 and then my Godox off camera flash on the other side. I just wanted a more like press feeling like, you know, those uh, photos with like flashes all over the stadium of getting the guys like up in the air or shooting a three, those iconic moments. I wanted that feeling that look that I couldn't get with natural lighting and that I can only get with flash. Even though these photos turned out pretty sick and still really corny funny, my elbow hurt so much because the rim was just jamming into the joint and with that full body weight pressure like on one small area it hurts so much but i do it for you guys i do it for the photos and i think that it was pretty worth it but my elbow is actually super bruised right now and uh it's gonna take a little bit <laughs> to heal up all right guys my strength is tapped out for round two for this dunk contest. There was one shot that I really wanted to get where I was sitting on the rim, but I literally could not pull myself up and do a muscle up after getting onto the rim, I don't know, 10 plus times. My hands hurt, my arms hurt, the elbow area where my like, um, where I was like jamming in for the Vince Carter shot, it hurts a lot. But this was fun. Hopefully the photos came out um, pretty good. Man, I really hope they did because like, if they didn't, I'd be really sad. I had to come back out here again. But uh, thank you guys for watching this round and uh, we'll wrap it up back in the studio. And that concludes Self Portrait 7. That concludes an entire year since the first one. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you like it, comment, subscribe. My favorite photos were from the first set. Some of those really came out in a fine art way. Like you could actually hang that up in a museum or some kind of gallery. I was thoroughly surprised. And from the dunk contest, it didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to. It was really fun. My elbow hurt so much right now, but that's all I have for you guys in this video. Um, look forward to sell purchase eight. I feel like that would be a very interesting one too. Um, but until then, I will see you guys and girls in the next one. <gasps> Peace.